Hi everybody this is Dr Vinay Sundar welcome to AV's Maxlow facial and dental talk and in this video we are going to be discussing about a few tips as to how a wrong tooth extraction can be avoided wrong tooth extractions are not uncommon but at the same time can be easily avoided when you follow the appropriate protocols remember it is a crime to extract a wrong tooth and the patient has every right to sue the dentist Now extractions are either performed by general practitioners or maxillofacial surgeons depending on the complexity of the tooth sometimes we refer to the patient to a maxillofacial surgeon or a maxillofacial say surgeon is called as a visiting consultant to the clinic to perform the extraction now as soon as the patient walks into your clinic an elaborate history is taken with the help of a case sheet either in a written or a digital format ensuring everything right from the chief complaint hopi comorbidities if any and dental history is documented it is advisable to have another assistant or doctor to jot down the findings as the doctor who examines looks into the patient's mouth a lot of findings might be there apart from the chief complaint but ensure the diagnosis is made correctly and the patient is well informed about all the problems present in the mouth once we have finalized that the patient requires extraction the first and most important step is consent The patient has to sign the consent form or sometimes the guardian can also sign the consent form depending upon the age of the patient. The second step is communication. You need to explain to the patient as to why the tooth is being extracted. Assure them that it's a completely safe procedure because most patients are very anxious before an extraction. In fact, they are anxious before any dental procedure especially when it involves administration of local anesthesia. If in case you have a monitor you can show them as to which tooth is being extracted or simply click a picture in your phone and show them also assure them that the replaced uh, the missing tooth or the tooth that is going to be extracted can be replaced at a later stage except for the wisdom tooth also tell them that the extraction is only being done because it's beyond repair except for probably therapeutic extractions where a lot of wrong tooth extractions happen now before the la is administered usually we give a topical spray so that also is one way of avoiding a wrong tooth extraction because you are going to give the topical spray in the respective quadrant and that in that way you communicate with the patient and ensure you give the block in the correct quadrant where the extraction is being performed the patient will usually be aware of which tooth is being removed and he will also tell you or rather cross check with you if the la is being correctly administered once local anesthesia is administered it's okay to count the tooth it's completely okay to count the tooth from front to back or vice versa and also check with the assistant if the tooth being extracted matches with the treatment plan and in case of a doubt once again it's okay to cross check rather than making a blunder and suffering we also have x-rays which are present which can be either opg or iopa to check with the actual teeth the adjacent teeth might be missing or filled with a crown or be decayed you can check if the same is evident in the patient's mouth also so these are some of the tips which i usually follow in my practice to ensure to i avoid a wrong tooth extraction if you have any more ideas please do comment i hope the video was useful thank you for watching